Welcome to 1911 Lombardi Circle. This is our biggest project ever, over 3,600 square feet, five bedroom, four bath, new construction house. It's actually in the heart of the awesome Dilworth neighborhood, right down the road from Freedom Park. Let's check it out. We ran into a boatload of termite issues and being in the 20s, a lot of houses were not built with footings, at least in this area. So those two things coupled together, we ended up getting rid of the house and then went vertical, as you can see now. This front facade will all be brick and then we'll have some really nice brick detail up in the top. Um, this will be the first time we're doing something like that too. You could probably call it a modern Dutch if you wanted to. Definitely has some Dutch characteristics. The brick was a lot of fun on this house. CMM Wells, like craftsmanship up, getting that scalloped on the, to both sides, landscaping. Yeah, just a huge step up in landscaping here. The side you can see is already taken. And we really had to figure out, you know, this is a narrow lot. You want to be able to get two cars in without having to ask the significant other to move just so that you can get out. So come up with a solution, pretty functional. You'll be able to, uh, to pull one car kind of in the front and then one car to two cars uh, here on the, the landing strip. No, we didn't really talk about it, but framing was a, a really fun project because this was our first uh, two by six walled house. It's nice to provide that kind of product because you get better R values. Some other things that we did differently are the windows. They're Pella um, Impervious series, so it's a fiberglass product. We got um, Jay to open up his, his wallet yeah. on this one. Yeah, definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> Before I take you for a tour of this house, we just have to look at this eight foot mahogany door. When you're gonna walk through this house, you're gonna see all those arch vibes and this is the first thing you see as you enter. So this foyer is very grand. We were able to put a herringbone design for our flooring and this was something very custom. I used Heathbrook, it's the flooring that we use in majority of our flips. It's a very subtle light color so that way when you're styling your house, you can do whatever you literally want to do. Now you walk in and we're gonna hit a full bath. This bath is pretty large for just being a guest bath. We were able to do a 36 inch vanity in here and also a very large stand up shower. I used 24 by 48 tile, kept it with the blues and grays, just very calming and serene. And we usually use Delta um, as far as our shower faucets go, but with this type of luxurious house, I was able to use the Delta faucets as our sink faucets and also the hardware to make sure everything was able to match. It also has a second entrance. It actually connects to a really lovely front bedroom. I guess this could also double as an office if you wanted. Um, there is a closet, so it is technically a bedroom. A lot of great natural lighting, a lot of options for where a headboard could go. And then a really cool feature about this house, Karina mentioned arches. And so you can actually see on all the doors and the interior doors, keep that similar vibe um, with the arch up top, which is really nice. And a cool feature about these doors is they are full core and you can hear the difference. Um, they are premium and normally we go with hollow core. So that's a nice not spared expense right there. And speaking of doors, Let's take a look at this doorway. Now we're in our really lovely study. I guess technically could be a bedroom too because there yeah. is another closet, but we went with some really great 48 inch French doors. Originally we had planned for a much larger opening, but we decided to keep it smaller so that way we could get the glass doors in there along with the two single windows and the double window and the beautiful light that we have in here. So as you're coming through the foyer, you're gonna notice some cool things. You have your kitchen on this side, and it's gonna be big, beautiful, tall cabinets, inset fridge right here, large island. The, the idea is that your sink is centered on your stove, which is all centered on what will be a fireplace in the living room. You will see this grand island, and this happens to be level three quartz. It's Calcutta. It is definitely for a higher budget houses. The veins in this quartz play really well with our kitchen island. That happens to be Sherwin Williams' Night Owl. And as you keep walking into the kitchen, you see these champagne bronze fixtures. Every single plumbing fixture in Lombardi is Delta. And we went a little bit more custom with the cabinet layout. So these have some spice racks going on there. 
and then this huge 36 inch gas range and then our amazing tile we have the square is lie tile it's a foreign decor and we finished it off with some frost route and then you just keep walking in the chef's kitchen and you hit our pantry with another arch and this pantry is just massive just take a look for yourself We've got a very, very similar layout to Chippendale and uh, Buckingham. Be sure to check out both of those videos, probably linked up there. In this kitchen, it is freaking spacious. We've got these really cool inset cabinets. I think this is the first time we've done them. We're talking 5 8 wood, dovetail, really, really nice product that we like, soft clothes, all that kind of stuff. And then with the island details, uh, Tony, what if we did something a little special here, right? So we're trying to kind of keep with the theme and the design of the house. And I think it was a great way to finish out the edges. When they come out like that, they kind of give room to tuck the chairs under and it's a nice big island that fits four chairs. This appliance package, man, most money we've ever spent on it, but KitchenAid commercial. You know, yeah, really so nice. like the width, it's a 48 inch uh, opening for the fridge. It's a larger opening, 36 inch opening for the range. It just, kitchen turned out to be killer. So then this is the living room. Very, very spacious. Got this big opening. So we'll have a double slider on that side. It's not built right now because we're waiting for beloved Duke Energy to come and do some line work. The deck is gonna be huge, covered, and we'll even have a fireplace out there. Can't wait for that to get done. And then I think I mentioned the fireplace here, but just in case, we're just gonna build out a small little casement here for a unvented fireplace, um, gas, all that good stuff, hang the TV above it, um, maybe even do some bookshelves underneath it. Uh, when we come to carpentry, we'll make those decisions for sure. What you can find a lot in Charlotte are narrow lots, especially in this area. So we were able to push this side of the house more. So the living room isn't as close to the kitchen, but you still have that really nice modern feel. And what's nice is we actually were able to get a gas fireplace in here for the first time. This is a really nice model. It's ventless and then it's topped off by this sweet mantle. Learning experience on mantles, uh, we're getting more into those as well. The more fireplaces we do. This ended up going in uh, almost hours before listing. So a little lesson learned on our end. Got it done and that's really what matters and it looks great. So I'm walking out of one of the largest storage closets we've ever done. It provides awesome space to tuck away holiday decorations or you know, luggage or anything like that. And we also were able to mount hooks here, uh, nice and sturdy for doing coats. So it's even more than like a coat closet. And as you can see, I'm a little tall and uh, it's absolutely giant. This is one of the best features of uh, the latest houses that we have. And, and really ever since doing this and framing, uh, we've incorporated it underneath the stairs at all the houses. Speaking of amazing features, these are 10 foot ceilings, y'all. This is the first time we've done a 10 foot ceiling house. It just makes the house feel even more spacious. Talking about space, generally speaking, we're about three and a half feet wide on our stairs. This one, I think we're past even four feet. Just give it that more luxurious feel. You feel like you're actually going up a grand staircase rather than just being kind of tucked in. It's really important that you keep part of the section open as well while you're walking up just to kind of reinforce that openness. And I think we've done this in a few houses now, but I always love to highlight these uh, stair treads are actually custom built by the flooring company. So they are a perfect match because they're made out of the same wood. Another really cool feature, we keep talking about these arches and how that's the theme of the house and you'll notice that they carry through even in these spindles. Um, definitely a nice design touch that elevates the look and sorry Jay, but these did go a little over budget. Again, continuing with the elevated features, we have crown molding surrounding the entire first floor of the house um, and it's a double stack crown molding feel and it carries even over our kitchen cabinets. Another great feature about this house is just the sheer number of LED lighting you'll see throughout it. Um, we don't really have any dark nooks and crannies. It just elevates the feel altogether with that luxe feel we're going for. And a really cool feature too about our lighting package is that it's all the Millennium brand, which is known for its quality and durability. Yeah, so I really liked using the Millennium brand for this house specifically, just because 
the champagne bronze delta fixtures are very particular it's not brass it's not polished and the millennium brand was able to exactly match the colors that way all the golds are just free flowing throughout the house I also think our staging company, TNT Staging, did a really good job with this area specifically with the black bugle chairs. It helps give off the gold and black vibe throughout the whole house. Speaking of black and gold, let's go check out my staircase light, which is another Millennium brand lighting. We keep the same width of the staircase all the way up to this really nice big open landing. And then as far as the rooms go, let's uh, hear from Tony. So coming right off the landing here, we have uh, a nice bedroom and you can see what time, what time of day it is and how much light you really get out of here. And the views out of it, you can see it's fall and in one of the nice neighborhoods in Charlotte. Also, this bedroom, um, believe it or not, this has a lot of bathrooms in this house. So we have an ensuite here, which, uh, which really adds to the functionality. So a majority of our projects, we like to put a 48 by 48 picture window in our staircases. This just helps with the natural lighting coming throughout, but also gives me a little bit of a hardship about finding the perfect fixture that fits within it. You don't want anything that's too big, you don't want anything that's too small, and you also don't want anything that's gonna hang too low, because when you're moving in and your furniture's above you, it's gonna hit the light. So I was able to find a modern contemporary farmhouse light um, that fits perfectly in the middle of this picture window, and it's 36 inches wide, so it's not too big. A really cool feature of this house is our first Jack and Jill. It lays directly between two kid bedrooms. Um, you'll notice the overall vibe is very subtle and muted, but also still kind of playful with this nice checkered green tile. We were able to do a very large vanity, double vanity here, 84 inches. And here separately, you can kind of cut through and see this lovely private shower, toilet room that you can close off from the sink area. Um, and then in this bathroom, we did um, our normal um, 9x12 subway stack tile. Coming off the Jack and Jill, before we go check out the master, let's hear from Tony more about that laundry room. So construction wise here, we made a couple changes kind of in stride because once you actually walked it, we needed a, a little bit of a difference in where the door opened, really the swing to maximize the space for this good closet right here. And we also were able to put in uh, the 21 inch depth, which is a vanity size instead of the 24 inch base cabinet, which really allowed us to have enough space for, for carrying those uh, big hampers and stuff like that. This is the first sink that's been on any of the projects and it's nice and big and there's plenty of counter space in here. So it just ends up being a really, really good feature. So we're about to go into the master bedroom. This is by far my favorite room for a lot of reasons and I think you can tell behind me. We've got walls of windows on both sides, still fit a king bed in here. This light fixture, which Karina will tell you all about, but it's wild. And then we also put a tray ceiling in here so you can get a little bit more of that higher feeling in your master like you would normally want to have. Because this is a tray ceiling, I decided to go with a chandelier because I had enough height to do it. And we did get some mixed reviews as to having a chandelier in the master bedroom. So I'd love to know everyone's thoughts. Comment below to let me know if you like a chandelier or a fan in the master bedroom. We're gonna walk in to its private bathroom, which I would say is like a whole bedroom in itself. So for the first time, we have a his and her vanity. One thing I would do a little bit differently with this is I would actually incorporate some wall sconce lighting in this room just because I never get to have drawers on the sides of each vanity. So it just would have been something different and neat to do, but I was also able to get a chandelier in here. And then coming behind me, we have a 48 by 48 tile. This is from Florin Decor, but it actually came from California. So it took about like three weeks to get shipped in. We waited and it was definitely worth the wait. And something really interesting about this tile is that it's actually the same exact tile in our laundry room, but that is a 12 by 24 version. And when you look at it in different sunlights, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference in the tiles. 
Additionally, what my brother forgot to talk about was all these cool plumbing fixtures that we have. For the first time, we added a shower arm in the bathroom instead of doing the rain head. I thought just because we have the tub on one side and there is so much space on the other side of the shower, why not even buy a longer shower arm? So that way you have a very luxurious bath time. This wasn't the original layout at all. We originally were going to have a wall that you had to walk behind to access the shower and the tub sitting in the front. And for one reason or another, we decided to rework it entirely and wound up with this. You can see it is a step up, so there is a curb which gets us off the floor so that we can create the slope that's needed to get down to this really awesome, really luxe looking uh, linear drain. Something we haven't, we've thought about in the past, but not to the extent perhaps we should because our team of three originally is not above six feet. <laughs> we put Tony in for reference and made sure that the shower faucet height was going to suit all heights. So it's more elevated than maybe our other houses have in the past. Also, another change that we had to quickly accommodate for is the shower um, pan tile. So Krina did an awesome job patterning everything together. It came out great. What you wouldn't know is that she literally in her own words said she closed her eyes and picked it out um, because she was just going back and forth with the shower pan and couldn't decide because of all the cool options. So here you have it. That's how awesome she is even when her, with her eyes closed. The reason we had to make that change is because the shower wall tile is a little slick and that was supposed to be the original shower floor pan. Because of the way the floor slopes though, we did not want to run into any sort of potential uh, risks with slippage. Um, so here you have it, that's a, more of a matte finish on the shower pan just for that added safety. There's a lot to talk about in here because this was one of the areas that was changed multiple times. And we actually had two skylights that were going to go in here, and we'll show you where they went in this house. And ultimately, like I, I think all the changes we made really turned out to be one of one of our all of our favorite bathrooms. Huge shout out to our tile guy. This is <laughs> this yes. is when you talk different trades and talent and stuff. The guy who does this, which does all of our masters, and we're gonna continue to use them because his attention to detail is, is top notch. Yeah. So every good bathroom needs a good closet. This uh, this is one of the largest ones we've ever done. These are full built-ins, three quarter inch plywood. This is the first time we've done these oval bars and they're really, really sleek, really, uh, really nice. I think it's a, a step up from any of the ones we've previously done. Uh, this was fun to figure out. I think we went through many hours of conversations with the group to decide you know, how to lay this out. There's so many options when you have such a large uh, master closet but this is got room for anything anyone would want, the ultimate shoe collection here or whatever your taste is. So you walk off the living room and you're entering the most badass black patio that we've ever done so far. You not only have your ceilings that are stained, you also have the floors that are stained. That's something that we usually don't have the budget for. Stain color for this one is green. It's a mixture of gray and beige. Our siding is Sherwin-Williams Urbane Bronze. And we also are able to do a brick privacy wall. It's the first time we've ever been able to do that. So Karina didn't make my job easy on this one at all. We had to do some things we hadn't done before. Uh, one of the coolest things though is that this is brick and what it is is it's, it's essentially a brick face. Uh, it's about an inch thick uh, and it's a way to, to get the full look. It's, it's real and it makes it easier for us to build. There's not all the added weight on top of the deck. And you can see that we put the exact same fireplace, which is really cool, uh, as the living room. Same kind of remote concept and, and sleek look. The ability to put a TV is a must uh, outside here, given that it's a three season porch. And I gotta talk about these screens. Jay, again, opened up his wallet on these. Uh, and it's just a, a first for us, hiring a, a dedicated screen company to go ahead with the uh, aluminum rails and just there, there's multiple different strengths of screens and, uh, and this is up there. So no worries of uh, a kid or a ball running into it and, uh, and it ripping. Last thing to talk about out here, I love outside and this lot had some challenges with some dead trees. It seemed like it wasn't a lot of space and as soon as we got stuff cleared out, it turned into one of, the, one of our favorite backyards. We also went above and beyond on the fence. So this fence is a six by six post instead of four by four uh, with a two by six top. And 
a little more expensive, better quality wood. So very happy how this turned out. Uh, so I already previously spoke about the, uh, the skylights up in the master bath and how that, that kind of didn't work out for us. So we were able to use them on this project in a, in a place that we originally didn't think we would be able to. So we put them here in the three season porch and we couldn't be happier. It brings a lot of light in. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at QC Flippers. Also, like and subscribe, leave us comments. We love hearing feedback from you all. Um, and we take it to heart. It's our best and biggest project yet. Can't wait for you guys to see what's next. And we will catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye.